Hey everybody, it's Crazy Cuban Carol. How you doing? Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a 2x2. Two two. So, a 2x2 two two is quite an easy puzzle to do once you know how to do it. It's very quick. The world records for it are less than one second, but if you're a beginner cuber and you pick this up and it's all scrambled, people usually say, oh, a two by two is so easy. I can do it in like five seconds and, it, and I can do it by intuition without any tutorial. Um, I actually personally think that that's not true. If you did do it by intuition, then that's cool, but um, a two by two is actually quite difficult to do if you're just doing it by intuition and you have no algorithms in your head or you don't know any notation at all. So if you are one of those people that need help solving their two by two, then you've come to the right place. All right, so let's get started with some basic notation that you need to know before you start solving. And by the way, um, I will be using just a simple layer by layer method, but there are other ways you can do it for speed cubing like Ortega. So all you need to know for notation is um, R, which is turning the right layer clockwise. R prime, which is this, which is turning the right layer counterclockwise. U, which is turning the top layer clockwise. You also need to know U prime which is turning the up layer counterclockwise. You need to know F, which is turning the front layer clockwise. You need to know F prime, which is turning the front layer counterclockwise. Now, of course, that is actually not the full notation you need to, you need to know for something like three by three, but if you think about it, um, on 2x2, two two, there really will be no L's because if you're doing an R, that's equivalent of doing an L um, and then turning the cube. Think about it. R, that's also L. So um, if you wanted to know stuff like B, that actually would be doing, like, you could do F to do a B because 2x2 two two only has two layers. And one more thing you'll need to know is the color scheme, of course, which is white opposite yellow, green opposite blue, orange opposite red, and then uh, blue is to the left of red, if you're holding white on the bottom. Okay, so now you can scramble your two by two. I personally like to start with the white face. So find a piece that has white on it, like right here. Um, this is a piece with white, red, and blue. Now the first step is to get the white layer, so one side with white on it, and the rest of the colors along here correctly placed. So, since I found this piece with red and blue on it, also of course it has white on it, let's find another piece that has white and blue or white and red, because those pieces go here. So, hmm, here's one. This is white, orange, blue. Because blue is here, I know the piece has to go here. Also, if you want to check that, um, the other color is orange and red is here. So if this, this piece is here with white on top, then orange is opposite red, so that is correct. To get that piece in place, first um, figure out a way to bring it right um, under the spot um, of where it goes. So it goes right here, so I would put it right here. Also, make sure um, the spot where your piece goes is on the top right, so right here. So I'll bring this down and then go like this because now this piece is under the place where it needs to go. Now all you have to do is repeat this simple algorithm to get it in place. R prime, D prime, which is um, the opposite of U, R, D. And you can do it again. R prime, D prime, R, D. R prime, D prime, R, D. And now it is in place. But you may have to do it a couple more times depending on which way your piece is oriented. Okay, let's find another piece. So, hmm. Here's one. This has white, orange, and green. Um, this piece I know has to go here because the orange side would go here, the white would be here, and the green would be here since it is the opposite of blue. So again, I'll have to figure out a way to bring this down here. Now a shortcut is to just go like that, of course. But um, 
if you want to just do it properly and if you don't really know um like a lot of like comp complicated things then you could just do it like this and it works perfectly fine so i would bring this down but that ruins this piece right here but that's okay i would leave that bring this piece here so now it is it is right under the place it needs to go in, and then just bring this piece back up okay so let's repeat that algorithm r prime d prime r d and there we go now my piece is in place all right so the final piece needs to go right here so let's find the final piece with white on it ah here it is so it has white green and red so let's move it right under the spot where it needs to go which is basically the only spot left on where your other white pieces are so there now i'll repeat the algorithm r prime d prime r d and now my white layer is complete a way you can check that your um, your white layer is is um, has all the correct pieces is if white is completely on top, and then you hold it like this where white is on top, and you see a bar of green. This is called a bar where two pieces that are the same color are like this. An orange is also a bar right here. Blue, two blues are matched up, and red. So now I know for sure that my white layer is complete. So now we're gonna work on the yellow face, not the yellow layer, just the yellow face. So since yellow is opposite of white, you can turn your cube upside down so that what would be the yellow face is right here. So there might be a couple different possibilities that um, your yellow face might look like. In my case, I have one yellow piece, so I'm gonna bring that to the bottom left. Now, if you have this case, do this algorithm r u r prime u r u2 r prime and now as you can see the yellow face is complete you if you also have a yellow piece on top but you turn it like this and there's no yellow piece here you can still do the same algorithm r u r prime u r u2 r prime then you'll still have the, uh, a yellow piece on top, but now when you turn it to the bottom left, you'll see that piece. So you can do the algorithm again. R, U, R prime, U, R, U, 2, R prime. And there you have your yellow face. Now, if you have um, two yellow pieces on top that are diagonally across from each other, you can do this algorithm. F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R. And there you go, your yellow face is complete. Now if you have no um, yellow pieces on top, um, take a look at the um, rest of the top layer. Here I have um, two yellow pieces facing forward and two yellow pieces facing out. Now when you solve your yellow layer and you flip, and you flip the cube over, the two pieces may be like this, but just turn the top layer so that two are facing you and two are facing back to the back. Then you can do this algorithm. R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. Another case where there are no yellow pieces on top is this, where you have two yellow pieces facing out and one yellow piece facing you and one yellow piece facing the back. Now, um, of course, again, it may be like this, or like this when you finish yellow uh, when you finish your white layer and then turn the cube over but make sure the two yellow pieces that are next to each other are facing to the left and also you can just check that one piece is facing you and the other piece is facing the back now you can do this algorithm r u2 r2 u prime r2 u prime r2 u2 r the last case is if you have two yellow pieces on top, one yellow piece facing one direction and the other yellow piece facing the other direction. If so, hold the two yellow pieces that are on top to your right. Make sure that there is one piece that has yellow on it facing you and one piece that is facing the other direction. Do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. Okay, so now we're gonna be moving on to the final step, which is getting this layer complete. So 
There are two cases you can do to um, complete the layer. I am going to be showing you two algorithms that you can use, um, but there is one common algorithm you can do once or twice to complete it, but I'm just gonna um, show you both the algorithms um, because I feel like learning two algorithms is easier than doing one algorithm twice when you're trying to solve a cube. So the first case is if you have um, one complete side and the other two pieces need to switch like this because you can see that the green and red needs to go here and the red and blue needs to go here. So basically hold the completed side to your left and do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R2, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. All right, and the final case is if you have um, two um, pieces that are correctly placed and they are diagonally across from each other. So as you can see, this uh, piece is correctly placed and so is this piece. Um, and then you have, of course, obviously two pieces that are um, not correctly placed and are diagonally across from each other the other way. So as you can see, this piece needs to go here and this piece needs to go here. So hold the pieces that need to be swapped where there's one to the bottom right and one at the top left. Then do this algorithm. F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime. And there you go, you have solved your two by two. Now you may have to rewatch this video a couple of times to be able to solve this because it does take a while to get these algorithms down and memorize in your muscle memory and to just be able to do it in general. But anyways, I hope you were able to solve your two by two using this tutorial. In case you were wondering, I am using a WIT2 for this tutorial. It is actually still a really good two by two speed cube. And the reason why I say still is because it's actually quite an old cube, but I would definitely recommend getting it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you solve your two by two. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Crazy Cube and Carol. Bye! All right, so today's hint is going to be about this um, metal non-twisty puzzle. And um, the hint I have to give you is perpendicular.